are on our way to go up to the mountains and we're gonna go check out some spots for some Incitinas. Hopefully uh, Monterey Incitinas, that's kind of the goal, but definitely uh, the large blotched uh, Incitinas and then maybe even the hybrids where they actually will mate between each other, the Monterey's and the, and the large blotch and create a hybrid. So we'll see what we can find. I'm pretty sure we'll find a large blotch, uh, but the Monterey, that's I think the goal for the day. Well, it didn't take long for us to find a salamander. Within a few minutes, we flipped a large blotched in Satina. It is always so cool to see this bright colored animal underneath such dull colored debris. It was a fun day finding a bunch of large blotched in Satinas, but we know that we need to come back to try and find the elusive Monterey in Satina. Well, we are here for round two, looking for salamanders. Another cold, rainy day, which is perfect. We are specifically looking for those Monterey's. We want today to be the Monterey day. So, um, in the first video that I did, uh, the Herping California with the salamanders, it was for the large blotched Incitinas, which we ended up finding a bunch of those. Super cool, we'll probably see some more today. Uh, but the Monterey's are the target. And if we get super lucky, maybe an arboreal, but that would be uh, absolutely crazy. 100% humidity, temps about 34. We win! Well, it's not a Monterey, but... Oh. This is the smallest one Li I have ever Li seen. Live flip. Sweet. This is part of the coronavirus strain. You can oh. only hold it for 10 minutes. Any longer, you're a goner. My likes to my videos just went way down, dude. <laughs> dude, <laughs> second flip! Look at those gloves. Here, show off those gloves. You got some new gloves. You got those at JC Penny? Yeah, I also bought my motorcycle there, so I <laughs> On our second trip to the mountains, we got a little closer to finding the Monterey in Satina. This little hybrid is a result of a Monterey and a large blotch in Satina mating. As you can see, it looks a little closer to the Monterey, but still does not have the continual solid coloring as that pinkish hue is evident on the tail, side of the body, and above the eyes. Now what's really cool is we found another hybrid, but this one looked closer to the large blotched in Satina with that bright orangish coloring. Here are both hybrids shown alongside the large blotched in Satina in the middle. All right, so this is round three, I wanna say. Looking yeah. for the Monterey and the uh, large blotch in Sedina, but mostly the Monterey since we haven't, well, Cameron got lucky and got to see one. <laughs> so we're going for the Monterey. Um, flip the skink, believe it or not, here's a quick picture. Uh, but yeah, it's gonna be pouring today, so I don't know how long we're gonna last. We didn't last too long this go around due to the weather. It was pretty wet to say the least, but we did find a few more large blush in Satinas. Conditions were really good, so my wife and I decided to try a new spot. We found some amphibians early on, like this Baja California tree frog that was out literally playing frogger. And then, it finally happened. Alright, so I guess in order to find the uh, Monterey in Satinas, which we've been trying for so long, Cameron, no. Vine snakes, okay, I'll take you vine snakes. Monterey and Satinas, need my wife. She spotted three, check it out. All right, so here's three to make make me honest. Got the little baby. Oh, the little baby. Sure, squirmy, aren't they? Yeah, they are. The Monterey Satina is a salamander that can be found in several counties in Southwest California. This range map from CaliforniaHerps.com shows the Monterey Satina's range in purple. You can see the small range in blue of the large blotched Incitinas and that overlap area in gray where the hybrids can be found as well as both Incitina subspecies. They are an average sized salamander as the adults are around 4 to 6 inches long if you include the tail. 
The best time to find these salamanders is when it's raining or has rained and the humidity level is very high, usually at night as they are mostly nocturnally active. That is because they are part of the family of lungless salamanders. This means that they don't breathe through lungs but instead breathe through their skin. The humidity needs to be high. Incitinas eat a wide range of insects and other invertebrates like snails and worms. My guess is that they are active on this road due to the amount of earthworms that come out on the ground during the rain. It's kind of like ringing the dinner bell. Now speaking of ringing the dinner bell, a variety of predators like to feed on the Monterey's. They include birds, snakes, and raccoons. Due to them being mostly active during cold winter rainy nights, I think raccoons probably are the biggest predator. One defense that the Monterey and Satina has is that it can detach its tail if it feels threatened. The tail wiggles on the ground and keeps the predator's attention while the Incitina can crawl away. They have another defense where they stand their ground and stand tall on all fours, lifting their tail in the air. They swing their tail back and forth and excrete a poisonous white toxin from their tail. The toxin sometimes deters predators, however some predators like the raccoons have learned to not eat the tail. The poison is not deadly to humans, but if gotten on the mouth or eyes can cause numbness and irritation for several hours. So it's probably best to wash your hands if you handle them. One last fact is that reproduction is terrestrial. The female will lay 5 to 25 eggs and in 4 to 6 months will hatch into fully developed young that can live as long as 15 years. Finding the Monterey and Satinas took several outings over a couple years, but was totally worth it. Road cruising salamanders was a first and made for a very fun night. Monterey and Satinas, check.